Hello again. Okay, this time I'm going to use this Wish Big caption, just that one, out of the hand lettered stamps. Take the others one side. I'm going to get a bit messy this time and create a piece of artwork. So I'll just have a piece of paper just to protect my mat. And we're also going to use the three largest rounded cornered square dies, the three largest ones, just the smooth ones, not the stitched ones. Okay, to start off with, I'm going to use some textured paste and just apply this across the centre section piece of paper, fairly thick, get plenty on. And we're not, not actually going to do any stamping as such Ooh, this time. That's it. I'd like to try and get a nice sort of even thickish layer, put a bit more in at the top there, that's it, with some texture as well, that'll be okay like that, okay, and now the fun starts, I'm going to actually squash the stamp into textured paste and give it a little press so we get an indented word in our paste full of texture this time and then the dies I'm going to actually use as well in the same sort of way pop them on actually if I use the spatula handle just to go around and press the die in the paste. And I need to work it out with my nail. There. And then the next size up, put that on a slight angle. So it going around with the handle, squash it in. a sort of pattern and then another one in about there I put them in the cutter side up so that it gives a thicker pattern on that flatter back surface there we go and then we're going to lift up the caption make sure it's all squashed down Yeah, cool. And now we allow this to dry and then we'll give it um, a covering of gesso just to prime the surface and to make go off slightly off the page as well and then over the whole piece so it'll take inks better. And then I have a piece that I've done already that's that been allowed to dry here. And this piece I've gone over with gesso as well. So we've got all that nice texture that we can start applying some ink to. As this is going to get even messier, I think I shall have more, more protective paper. Okay, bring in my acrylic block to apply some ink on. I've got some spray spritzing ink here. Um, I like this one because of the colour really and it has got a little bit of mica in it as well which is quite nice. I'm just going to dribble some of that onto my acrylic block and pick up some. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow the, the lines of the, that the dies made 
pick out the pattern and get as straight as I can. Follow the grooves and where they aren't quite as deep then you don't have to go with the ink just fade it out like in the corner there just follow what the, the pattern says that's fading out as well this one's quite deep so I might even put more ink in there it's fading out and then we're going to spritz it with water just to get it to bleed. Let's do that inner one as well. Yeah, I think that's about it. Right, let's spritz that with water, which is over here. Okay. Leads nicely, a bit plenty. Yeah, I'll give it a bit of a dry with the heat gun. Sorry about the noise. And the gun's moving the ink around as well, as a bit more texture. It's so really done. That'll do. Got it all dry, and then we're going to add some colour into the centre area. And I've got here some Lucky Clover. Distress ink, so I'm just going to add this into the center area. So pat that in and blend it out to the turquoisey color. I like my nice depth of color. It. and then we'll bring in some water and I'm going to do some splashing on there That's it. let's do the splashes as well pat that dry right, I might add some more ink because those Bigger splashes were quite big. That. Oh, and we'll add some of green, add some green splashes as well. So I'll pick up a bit of ink with water. Let's add some green splashes. that give that a quick dry and then I'm going to add a few more smaller green splashes like that it's all about building up the layers and then what I'm going to do is go back in on some of the lines where they are really thick and deep and just add a bit of darker darker colour just on some of the areas get a bit more ink so, 
this helps frame our lettering as well. some of the corners as well let's do this corner okay that's a bit strong blot it out I'm going to bring in some white I've got here just some white outdoor craft paint that I want to kind of use up any white paint will do yeah there's my thinnest brush and now I'm going to let's take it out of the lid because it's a bit thicker in the lid I just want to go over the lettering with some white just to take out some of that green dye colour in there. So try and follow the thick and thin areas as the lettering is. It's all the downward strokes are thicker. I might need to do a couple of layers of this white if I want it to get more of a pure white colour. Okay, so I'm just going to do the thicker areas just to make it a bit quicker for you to watch. Let's do a bit more down here. Okay, and we're also going to do some white splashes as well. Water down the paint and I'd like to get some bigger white splashes so I'm just going to try and tap that's it tap on there some bigger dots great leave that for a couple of seconds and then I'm going to blot them out so that they then almost look like bubbles I might even dry them quickly This one here, I'm just going to blot it and it just makes it look like bubbles, like further away droplets. And then I'm also going to add some smaller splashes as well. Flicking some on some finer splashes again creating dip depth of the splashes almost finished I just think we need to define the lettering just make that pop a bit more I'm just going to quickly dry that And then I'm 
going to create some shadowing on the lettering and I'm just going to use, I've just got a water based um, brush pen here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out the, the raised part of the paste all coming in at this angle, a bit like we have the light source coming in this way and we want to create the shadow on this side. So it's quite a deep colour. So I'm going to do that on all the sort of right hand pieces, sides. Don't have to be too precise. Sick. So we're going to go in again with some water. most of them. Yep. And then again with a small brush, I'm just going to give it some water just so it bleeds out a bit more and creates a bit more of a gentle, subtle shadow. So the ink bleeds out and then it make it easy slightly easier to read as well because what you don't want to first look at it and think well what does that say you want it to pop so you can easily read it so I missed a bit there The idea fiddle around with this till it looks just how you want it. I will go in there, there with some more white when it's dry. And then this is like a piece of artwork that you could frame or turn it into a card. It's just a different way of using the stamps with texture paste. There, I have the idea. I have made a planner page using this technique as well. This time I've used the dream big word and I've got my big splashes here, my little white splashes, similar technique and I've outlined it in the same blue with a bit of water as well to create a planner page. And this was, is going to go next to this piece I've created this watercolour sunset so I just wanted the dream big perhaps to sit in my planner next to that there a different idea great thank you for joining me hope you've enjoyed my demos